Just briefly, I want to answer a couple of um, objections to the special creation of man. People often say, well, you've described how wonderfully unique humans are, but how about disease and deformity? But the Bible says clearly that disease and deformity are due to the curse on creation. Arthritis is not what God planned. It's not what was in the Garden of Eden. But because of the sin and rebellion of Adam and Eve, God cursed creation and then death and disease came into the world. That's not what God had planned. But despite death and disease, you can still look at the human body and say it is fearfully and wonderfully made. As David said in Psalm 139 verse 14, I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. That verse has been proved correct by modern science. In terms of design, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. It's just sad that there is death and disease. Some people say, uh, is there bad design? Richard Dawkins has often said the human being is full of bad design. But when people say that, it's more a reflection of ignorance of how well we are designed. Uh, One example of uh, supposed bad design is the human back. A lot of people complain of a bad back. Actually, the the shape of the back is, is a brilliant piece of engineering because we have a back in the shape of an S, as you can see in the diagram. And because we don't have a completely straight back, we have this S shape. Uh, it's not a C shape. An ape has a C shape uh, spine. That would mean we would be leaning forwards. But because it's an S shape, we stand upright. And yet we do have this suspension. If you jump off of a wall and land hard on the ground, uh, you would have a big shock, except your spine absorbs that shock by compressing. It's a brilliant design. As many doctors have pointed out, bad backs are to do with bad lifestyle, sometimes to do with arthritis or other diseases. But if you do not have a disease or a back condition and you have a good lifestyle, then you do not get um, a bad back. Uh, But the, the base of the back is a vulnerable point if you do lift badly or you do exercise in the wrong way. So the back is a good design, it's not a bad design. People have said, is the appendix a bad design or a vestigial organ, something that no longer uh, is useful, some evolutionary relic? Um, Not so long ago, people were publishing papers saying that actually the appendix is important in the immune system for uh, children and, and young people. Uh, And so the appendix is another one of the examples of something which, when it's claimed to be a vestigial organ, well, it's a reflection of man's ignorance, uh, not on anything which is a bad design or a vestigial uh, organ. There are lots of parts of our body we could lose and still survive. We could survive with one eye, one arm. uh, But it's better to have two eyes and two arms, better to have an appendix than not have one. But of course, you can survive without an appendix. So the human body, uh, I don't think, has any examples of bad design. 